fans of the Horus Heresy, Warhammer 40,000, and science fiction miniatures of an art earlier age of Warhammer. Thank you very much for joining me for a sample review of some miniatures that have come all the way from Spain. And this is Nightmare Games, or Nightmare Miniatures. Why, I hear you ask, are we doing a review of some models from Nightmare Miniatures? A few weeks back, one of you viewers very kindly donated a miniature to the channel, which was Marnius. And I reviewed this model in the Crawling Insectoid review I did a couple of weeks back, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Following on from that, I got in touch with Diego at Nightmare Miniatures, and he very kindly agreed to send me some samples to review. And I'm really excited by some of the models that Nightmare do, and in particular, the ones that we're looking at for the sample is a set from what they call their Space Raiders miniatures. And, well, anyone who remembers the art of Slaves to Darkness, I think you're going to like this. Nightmare Games have sent these to me as a sample for review. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to get them out of the pack, we're going to have a look at them, see what they're like, and I'll appraise the quality. If they're good, you know, I'm going to say they're good. If there's any faults, I will point those out. But please do bear that in mind when you evaluate the opinions I offer you in this video. This has been packaged to survive a warp incursion of considerable quantity. So I'm going to get the knife of impalement and I'm going to try to get into this. There we go. So that was, shall I say, a somewhat ungraceful opening, but it serves a purpose. All right, what do we have? So we've got a whole load of stuff. Now there's some miniatures that I've also bought and we will look at those in a separate video. Look at that mess. Gosh, I think this might be the messiest unboxing from Leaky Cheese ever. I do like packing peanuts though. And then we've got a load of business cards. The Pantheon of Chaos. There we go, they're on Facebook. And then the Greenskin Wars from Nightmare Miniatures. Most of Nightmare's range is actually fantasy, shall we say. It's, uh, you might call it early to mid 80s fantasy style, maybe a bit later as well, 80s in general. But the bit that caught my eye, and you know, I'm more of a 40k player, was the Space Raiders. Right, okay, after a whole load of searching and digging, I have managed to locate the Space Raiders. Yeah, he sent me a whole load of stuff as well. Gosh, got loads and loads of gear here. Right, anyway, so what are the Space Raiders? So the Space Raiders for me are a set of five heroic scale miniatures and these have been sculpted very much in the style of some of the more baroque art from the book realm of chaos slaves to darkness and in particular i mean i suppose it's the art in the style of ian miller i guess that's kind of what i'd uh, think of them as being so anyway there's five of these guys in this bag so without further ado we'll roll them out of the bag and let's start taking a look at them Right, I'm going to start with my favourite first because I absolutely love this guy. Here we go. Now, anyone who had Slaves to Darkness will recognise this, where the artistic inspiration for this came from. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. That is just so cool. He's got a separate gun as well, which I think... Is it this? Uh, maybe it is, is it that? Just, uh, excuse me. In the description, I'll just put page references for where this art came from in Realm of Chaos, Slaves to Darkness, because of course, Slaves to Darkness has been re-released as a Warhammer World and Event exclusive this year. So it's a great time to, you know, see models like this appear. And these are a style of miniature that Games Workshop abandoned long ago. So it's wonderful to see someone come along and have the, well, the sculpting skills, which as I'm sure you can appreciate already, pretty darn good and also interest to recreate them let's get back to this dude so that gun is going to go on him like so yeah that is awesome awesome and just look at all the chaotic styling i mean this is clearly a mutant he's his head as lot it's been a long time since his head was completely human he has these goat digigrade limbs and look at the styling of his armor he's got these uh, skull knee pads the whole thing is just a whole writhing mess of chaotic symbols. 
Wow, that, that's kind of great. And this is a miniature that GW never sculpted anything like this. So it's wonderful to see someone do it. And, and make, you know, big compliments to Diego on his sculpting skills because taking a 2D piece of artwork and converting it into a convincing 3D miniature is not easy. And you can't always do it either. So he's, he's done that with great success. Right, it also comes with a backpack, which is, this has been cast in resin, yeah. No doubts here as to um, who's chaotic at all. Right, let's just have a look at the quality. This is a, a pewter miniature. That looks very well turned out. Not a little fine mold seems to clean up here and there, but uh, nothing too dramatic at all. Hardly anything actually. Then on the backpack with this malevolent looking mouth and visage, there's a bit of cleanup around the top to do. You can see the seam that he's taking away around the side. Need a little bit of work just to graft it all back into line. Not sure if that's a tiny little air pit there, but yeah, that's that's good. It's really good. What's the gun like? That's a, that's pretty much perfect. So how many guys? So we've got five of these guys, haven't we? So that's one. I'm going to do this guy. This guy, I do remember where the artwork was taken from. Look at that. He's got this outstretched power weapon. And then he's got this crazy helmet with like a pair of, I don't know, almost like bolt pistols mounted in the cheeks. And a chaotic badge on his belly. The artwork from this one was from the double page spread in the Chaos Renegade section where you rolled for your followers. And there was two pictures. There was one of a group of what looked like renegades or perhaps space marines. And there was another picture of what looked like somewhat degenerate followers. I think it was Ian Miller who did these pictures. Yeah, wonderful. And it comes with this chaotically corrupted bolt weapon with this tentacly Cthulian skull mounted upon the top. Yeah. And then he's got his arm like that. Yeah, wicked. Ha, <laughs> wicked, that's very 80s, isn't it? Right, who should we do next? Let's do this chap. Wow, goodness me. Now I'm trying to get the light right. Look how finely detailed the armor is on this guy. Another clear mutant renegade follower of Chaos with this um, wicked crab-like hand and perhaps if you were looking to game some renegades or indeed use um use some alternate miniatures for a present day 40k force this pincer hand would suit a follower of slanesh um to the uh, to the core as a reward of slanesh a demon x claw blimey look at the sheer quantity of detail on the surface of this dude that's amazing this warp corrupted bolt with uh, <laughs> even the bayonet has been corrupted. There's almost too much detail to take in on this one to actually point stuff out. I mean, yeah. Anyone who's watched any of my Retro Hammer videos and seen Retro Hammer, I think it was, was it episode six, I think, where I showcased my World Eaters from the Slaves to Darkness era. This guy really puts me in mind of miniatures, some of the miniatures that were. Uh, some of the style of some of the miniatures that were done then. It's not a direct copy, it's a, again, this is a take from a piece of art. In the piece of art, the the guy has a weapon and his claw lowered. Um, but yeah, it's clearly the same dude. And then a second backpack. What I'll do is actually, we'll look at all the backpacks at the end. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, so there's four backpacks. That's because one of the guys, I don't think, can mount a backpack. So that's the third dude. Here's the fourth dude. Blimey. That just screams corn to me. It's pointing this way to the killing. Blimey, just it's incredibly detailed. I mean the, the sculpting work he's done to to create this detailing, it it is mind blowing. It really is. And this dude is actually armed with a heavy weapon, which is a missile launcher in the style of the RTB-01 plastic Space Marine box set, which has been heavily corrupted by the ruinous powers. 
and then that is going to go i'm not quite oh there you go oh right that's the just very nicely slotted into place there you go there's the wrist and there's his hand holding the missile launcher so saying go over there and finish killing the people i just fired the missile at oh gosh just a detail. I mean, even the head of a missile launcher now looks like some sort of demented creature. Because of the bulk of the missile launcher, Diego's not put a backpack onto this guy, which I guess is a necessary thing. If you were really keen on having backpacks on your models, you could take one from the Forge Wall Armor Through the Ages Heavy Weapon Marines, which have got some tighter exhaust vents, so they're not as wide. So perhaps that's a way of putting a backpack on. Maybe make something out of green stuff. And of course, at the time, the Chaos Renegade heavy weapons all had mounted sort of like down here like this. Interesting to see one in the classic over-the-shoulder pose. And then the fifth and final Renegade. Oh, yeah, I just recognised this dude. Yeah. And the thing that did it for me was this... <laughs> <laughs> this horrific Chaos attribute of his hand, which is being turned into this skull with this wicked tongue coming out of it yeah no this is yeah i know the uh, piece of art i can't remember where in the book it was but yeah i definitely recognize it oh wow just again the sheer detail on the armor i mean these are corrupted corrupted by the powers of chaos and they love it he has this rictus mask of a head he's too large horns i mean this is kind of like the gigaresque alien style head uh, also influenced by the design of the blood letter so you might postulate that this guy is indeed a follower of corn who's been rewarded by corn with the visage of a blood letter all sorts of twisted demented freezes depicted on the plates of his armor wow just have a look at the last three backpacks, see how these guys look. Um, I guess first thing is, it are these all the same design? So one, two, and three. Yes, they are all the same designs. So quality-wise, a little bit of cleanup, mold seam, a few air pits to fill there. Some gates to remove, but that is always par for the course when you work with resin miniatures. And last one, maybe the odds, very small air bubble to fill there. Maybe one just here, though that's almost, I don't know if that's even going to be there once I've cleaned it up. Yeah, I mean, what a design though. It's interesting that these backpacks are so chaotic looking. You see the original GW ones. They were definitely chaotically styled, but these, well, these have just got the Baroque monster face on it as well. Just interested if we pop that on there. Yeah, look at that. I suspect these may benefit from pinning as well. So quite large backpacks and the contact point is quite small. It's always been a challenge with miniatures like this and it's exactly the same with the GW ones the backpacks could be quite tricky to attach. So I will probably pin all those for extra strength. But wow, what a wonderfully sculpted set of miniatures paying a great homage to some of the art of Realm of Chaos Slaves to Darkness. I, I, I just absolutely love these. Yeah. I mean, I love the original GW sculpts, but these are worthy successors. Yeah. And this guy, of all of them, I, I like them all. I think they're all so well done, but... There's just something about this guy. I just love the design. I, I mean, I always love the artwork, but to actually see it as such a beautifully executed miniature, that just makes my heart warm. So they have it, the Space Raiders from Nightmare Games or Nightmare Miniatures. I'll leave a link to these guys at Nightmare's website in the description section. So please do go check them out. Check out all the range because there is some really cool stuff and we'll be taking a look at some more of that in a second video, really do check them out. I'm not just saying this because they sent me some samples. I'm saying this because I really do like them. One final point, you know, as you can see, these haven't been supplied with bases, so you will need to add your own bases and looking at a mixture of 
slotter bases and non-slotter bases. This guy's got a couple of pins on his feet. Just one final thought there. So just to wrap up, I'd like to thank Diego again for sending me these miniatures for review purposes. I really appreciate that. And if you've got any questions or observations, perhaps nostalgia that you would like to share in the comment section, you know, particularly the nostalgia, I'd love to hear that. But other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.